Hi, welcome to Life in a Bottle, season three, episode 22. It's been such a long time since I've had to do that. And look, we got the band back together. Woo! Woo! Oh man! Um, Even game to, on. To, uh, I know, Spress is always excited. Uh, to sort of uh, celebrate this idea that we can all be back together again, uh, we're not doing one, not two, but three wines uh, during this episode, right? Which is three fantastic. Wines, three colors. Three, yeah, yeah, all organic too. All at least practically organic. Right. Great. Oh, express. come on, this is Go not your video. Loves organic. All, all right, loves organic. so we're gonna keep this as short as possible. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Um, and I'm going to read my notes because I'm not smart enough to memorize stuff. So my wine is subject to change, bang bang Chardonnay. So I think you all have heard us say subject to change before. Uh, it's a winery that we care very much about. In fact, I think we were the first one to bring it to the state of Connecticut. Confirmed, we yes. were, yes. yes. And we're still doing that to a certain degree where we bring it in uh, pretty much just for ourselves. We yeah. play piggy with our wine because we much. love their wine so pretty much. much. So, winemaker is Alex Pomerantz, uh, a buddy of ours, like him very much. Kind of the guy that you can just call and ask him a question, and he picks up the phone and says, this is what the deal is. So, it's great. When I called and... him the first time, he was like, uh, I'm bottling, can I call you later? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah, please, yeah, yeah. please yeah. call me later. Yeah, yeah. That's all good. <laughs> um, I responded to the email, so he'll be sending us more uh, samples, which is great. Cool, right? Great. New, new releases by them, so coming soon to us. Um, so this is the 2018 Bang Bang Chardonnay. It's 100% organically grown Chardonnay. Uh, it's from Monterey, and it's a single vineyard. It is, let me get this right, Coast View in Monterey. Uh, foot crushed, whole cluster, sees eight months in neutral oak on the leaves. On the leaves, on the leaves. Important. Important part, okay? Uh, bottled, unfined, unfiltered with no, I repeat, no sulfur added. Right? Nice. Comes in at a beautiful 11.3 ABV. Right? Talk Love about it. the definition Love of it. crushable. Love it. Right? All right. It's a patio pounder right there. <laughs> Certified. <laughs> you love that. <laughs> We're on the patio, so. All right. So, um, for me, and we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to taste my wine. These guys taste their wines. Keep it flowing. For me, first thing just jumps out of the glass right off the bat. It's uh, it's uh, it's cap gun. It's like those little red yep. strips when you like it's flinty. It's mm -hmm. like oh, and I love that. that you little, know that. Little yep. like, I am like, yeah. mm, mm, mm. For me, it smells like like really great Jura Chardonnay. It reminded me of Michelle Gaillet. Just the tiniest little bit oxidative, but mm. cap gun, smoky, mm, flinty. Yeah. Cap gun, flinty. But the body's there too. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's out on the leaves. Yep. That's where the richness comes from. No, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, no detectable oak nope. whatsoever, nope. right? But I think those eight months gave a little oxidation to it, sure. and it gives it that little richness as well. Mm -hmm. You might get a little toasty from those leaves mm -hmm. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's definitely other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, lemon lime all the time, right? So you still got the citrus notes, right? Come on. How about, how about apple pear? Apple pear, always there. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> we have to get all the cliches in as, as, as every show. I'm not going to say the word minerality though. Although, anyway. I'm gonna. Me too. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> I wanted to be odd man out. Uh, so, what, what am I pairing with it? Because again, we're doing this fast. Uh, I'm vegan now. Uh, surprise. Uh, but uh, soft shell crabs. And so I might cheat, just saying, <laughs> on the record. Uh, uh, but literally, and I'll put a picture in the email, I, I finished a bottle that I opened a couple days ago or a day ago with uh, just a little veggie stir fry. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it went perfect, which is great. Just easy drinking, watching something on Netflix. Actually, I think I was just watching Joe Rogan on Spotify, but that's, that's, a, whole that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, and that's it. So, oh, one last thing. The price that we're offering this at right now is super duper sharp. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if Alex knew about it, he'd probably be pissed off. Probably the sharpest Sorry. price in the country. Yeah, I had probably, to guess. Probably. Um, are good. So, so this is definitely intro price. It's a three bottle killer price. Mm -hmm. um, even the single bottle sale price is killer. Mm -hmm. So, try mm -hmm. it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's solid. So I'm out. Done. Cool. Good. All right, I'm in. Uh, Von Winning. This is a label. I feel like most people who have been in the shop have seen in one iteration or another. Um, they're known around the shop at least, for making really, really killer dry Rieslings in an almost Burgundian style, especially at their higher level offerings. They make gorgeous Sauvignon Blanc, and they make this Rosé, Rosé of Pinot Noir, or as it's known in Germany, Spätburgunder. Um, not uncommon to see Rosé from Spätburgunder, uh, but these guys especially, man, do they kill it. 
The concentration that you get from this fruit is absolutely beautiful. It's still mouthwateringly fresh despite how juicy that fruit is. And that minerality, buzzword, um, it comes right out of the glass at you and it carries right through that whole finish and it just weaves right through. It's such beautiful mineral. Mm. And I just, I just gotta say, it comes in a, a <clears throat> tall glass hawk bottle. But let me tell you people, this wine is bone dry. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Mm. No sugar left in there. Mm. Um, and again, despite that juiciness and that rich concentration you get from that fruit, and it almost has that body too, but it's not from sugar. It's not sweet, nothing left. Um, another one, certified sustainable, practicing organic. They don't have the certification. Um, but you'd never know the difference. They are using sulfur bottling, but really just enough to keep everything bright and fresh, mm. keep everything wrapped up the way it's supposed to. These guys make absolutely remarkable wines to jump into the glass here. I'll also say one thing, mm -hmm. also 11.5. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Huh? So light alcohol, super fresh, super clean, beautiful concentrated cranberry and cherry. Again, that mineral is killer. I think it's got a little bit of that Pinot Noir kind of earthiness, that little dry leafy thing that you would want from Pinot Noir. But this is all crushable rosé. Uh, this is another one that gets certified patio pounder. What are we gonna pair with this? I think in my head, I go like teriyaki chicken off the grill mm. would be killer. Uh, some goat cheese, something like that, and a salad would be great with this. Uh, you could also just do crudite hummus, a little bit of spice in the hummus maybe, a little chili flake, a little cayenne. I think that'd be awesome as well. That's good. Yeah, I, I went first, so I can taste that one. You know, <laughs> no, it's all I good. Didn't, I didn't see that coming. I know. I'm it's sorry. I'm not, that's why I'm always going to do. Up. I'm always going to do champagne or white wine, just so I can go through the the gamut. Um, okay. Dude, you're up. You're up. All man. right. So we have here the 2019 Domaine Arnaud Cassini AC Bordeaux. This is 100% Merlot from the right bank, certified organic, practicing biodynamic from a single vineyard. 3.9 hectares, small little vineyard. Um, I don't know how much he makes, but it's probably only a few hundred cases type of deal. Um, also very low sulfur um, and 100% Merlot, which is cool and special. And uh, you know, if you're one of those people like me who doesn't necessarily always gravitate towards Merlot, don't let that turn you off. Cause this one is, uh, it's more right bank Bordeaux than it is Merlot. Those things are one and the same, but you guys know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, so, I first tasted this on Saturday and uh, it was freaking killer. So what did I do? I uh, I emailed our friends in France at the Paris Wine Company. I said, we need another half pallet. They're like, oh, sorry, sold out. <laughs> oh, no. So we have uh, less than less than 20 cases to go around. It's a first come, first serve type of deal. So uh, I suggest you jump on it. Um, 2020 is on the way. I'm sure it's good, but uh, get to be seen. You know, we trust Cassini. We met this guy once. Uh, actually, note. multiple times. Yeah. And the fact that on, on our trip, and he and I connected because we both like photography. So we would sit and sort of chat in interesting broken English. Super nice guy. You yeah. get the sense that he makes wine, but he makes wine out of passion. Oh, it yeah. doesn't seem oh, like yeah. he needs to make wine. He's yeah. not making it for the end result of money in the pocket. So that gives him sort of the freedom and the flexibility to actually make really quality wine. Uh, at whatever cost it needs to make it at. So. Yeah, he's he's also a photojournalist type. He's, he's always got a camera on his neck, yeah. taking pictures, just observing. Interesting dude. Um, so in the glass, fresh as a daisy, definitely like a brambly, yeah. black cherry, blackberry. I'm not gonna say, um, I'm not gonna say mineral, but definitely a very gravelly, uh, stony sort of feel to it. Um, Oh look, there it is. <laughs> On the palate, definitely like a medium tannin, well-structured, but not a rip your face off wine. It's very fresh, crunchy. It's just as much uh, that saint Mion feel as it is a Chinon feel. It's fresh, it's got cut, but it's, it's structured. And I think nice now, five to eight years of age, maybe 10 years of age, it's gonna be a true delight. Uh, pair it up with, hey. Uh, <laughs> pair it up with uh, herb roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms, mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, even like a funky cow's milk cheese, I think would be really nice. Mm. Little chill on it. Don't be afraid to put it in the fridge for 40 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, organic, practicing biodynamic, uh, also very low sulfur, and uh, another delight from our friends at the Paris Wine Company. Uh, first come, first serve, this one will go, people.
It's killer. It's absolutely delicious. But it's still a serious Bordeaux. Yeah. But at this price, especially after half an hour in the fridge, this with a burger mm. on Monday. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Billy. Yeah. You don't automatically go Bordeaux for like a holiday weekend, but no. Nope. When you say burger, grill yep. this with just a little edge off the, uh, you know, just put, don't put it on the kitchen table. Put it in the fridge for mm -hmm. a little bit, just to get that chill on there. A quick, a quick note to clarify, this is the Domaine Cassini AC Bordeaux. We also have the big one from Cassini, mm -hmm. which is the Santa Mion. They look pretty much the same on the shelf, so just be careful if you're going in for the grab, make sure you get the right one. Uh, that said, the Santa Mion, also worth a go. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be disappointed. <laughs> you, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be disappointed if you bought that one. Too, There's no so. wrong Cassini no, Bordeaux. <laughs> hey, this was fun. This it was feels great. good. It feels really good to be back. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, Cheers. Boys. This has been too long. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Have Cheers. a great weekend.